Hey, it's Oliver P here. I'm outside the Australian Dinosaur Museum. Yay! So I've just done my uh, school visit at Turner School. Did a really cool writing workshop. Day one, of course. I'm going to treat myself to checking out these guys here. If I was a kid, I would have gone nuts for a place like this. And as a dino fan at heart, as someone who loves Jurassic Park, I think I'm going to have a dynamite time here as well. So uh, I've been allowed to uh, film inside. So I'm going to take you on a bit of a tour of what's inside Australia's largest dinosaur display. You heard right. Australia's largest dinosaur display. Let's go before it closes. Let's go. Let's check it out. journey begins up here and look at all the friends pterodactyl hello <laughs> how cool is this that's a little friend there the plateosaurus and then we got this guy here the parapsychotolestebidae near build lizard in latun Okay, I'm gonna do it. Danger, 10,000 volts. I'll still do it anyway. Okay, oh, I love this guy, Stegosaurus. You know, I used to always say that his plates were as big as dinner plates, but man, I think they're bigger than that. They're bigger than those dinner plates. One of the most coolest dinosaurs ever. You know, it's probably top five dino for sure. They're getting me a hands-on here, Stegosaurus cast. So these are the plates here. Look at that. Mm, yeah, pretty cool. Okay, the Camarasaurus. Camarasaurus, apparently. This is one of the legs behind me, and I'm going to measure myself how long this is. Stand up here, and... Da -da 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 -da. Not too bad, actually. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm up to about here. That's, that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I mean, this guy's a beast up here. Look at that. So there we've got the Diplodocus. Double beam. What a beast. Yeah. Double beam. Apparently, one of the largest land animals on Earth. It's fascinating, actually, just seeing all these fossils up close. And it makes you wonder how these giants roam the earth. It's just pretty cool. Look at this. This here is the Brachiosaurus rib. That's right. It's actually the rib of the dinosaur. And that is this big. Wow. That's really, really cool. You know, it's kind of funny. I actually wanted to be a paleontologist when I was a kid. That's someone who discovers dinosaurs through fossils so this kind of stuff i would have loved as a kid now, can you imagine finding something like that in the ground and then like having a dinosaur named after you that was probably the main reason why i love dinosaurs and wanted to be a paleontologist i wanted olivosaurus unfortunately it never happened but i still got to write about olivosaurus in my stories when i was a kid so at least that's something but this is pretty cool. This is like the, the dino rush. You have all these paleologists, all these fossicals just scrambling to find all these fossils in America and parts of Australia as well, but mostly centering around America at the time. And yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. That was when a lot of people actually started to get onto the uh, dino craze. You can't really forget about the dinosaurs living under the sea. Under the sea, like this guy here. Pesalosaurus. So these are all mosasaurs, and they're you know basically the sauropods of the sea. And there's one of them over here. I want to show you this guy here. This is pretty epic. Look at that. Take a bite out of this. Rawr. 
yeah <laughs> so that's pretty cool oh look at that, that that's Tatong it's a very interesting Tatong over there dangerous turtle and uh yeah more of these fossils as well so these are actually the Australian dinosaurs Aussie dinosaurs represent yes that's right there weren't many Australian dinosaurs but I do remember reading books about them like Australian dinosaurs and there were a fair few so this guy I remember look at this legend over here this guy the Matabarosaurus Matabara look at him oh, hello. hello my friend how are you going Oh, okay. He's he's. I mean, look. It's, it is a Monday, so I understand how you feel there. Buddy, let me shake your hand over here. Let me. Sh oh, wow. <laughs> That's cool, isn't it? Animatronics at its best. I mean, this guy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why it's sticking me. Is it hand sanitizer? I got no idea. But yeah, good on your mother, Barosaurus. Whoa. Okay, this guy is interesting. Wow, this guy is the uh, the Australovenator, discovered in Wilton, Queensland. Five meters long, two feet tall. Wow, okay. Almost sounds made up, but <laughs> that name just just yeah, it's pretty cool. Ah, yes, I've met this guy here. This is the Minmi, Minmi here, Quinsequento. Australian dinosaur over here, probably one of the more well-known ones over here. And that's the Quantosaurus there as well. Really cool Australian dinosaurs. And if you look over here, you actually see a list of all the Australian fossil sites. So this guy here is the uh, Cumlabarosaurus, discovered in Richmond, Queensland. A lot of Queenslanders here actually. Ah, Dinosaur Coast, along the coastline of Broome, WA. Okay, that's really cool. It's just very cool that like you get to have a chance to discover these Aussie beasts, you know? This dinosaur here was discovered in uh, Dinosaur Cove in Victoria in 1987. <gasps> that's pretty cool. That's quite recent actually. Nice. I mean, okay, it's not that recent, but you know what I mean. That's not too bad Huntosaurus then we got the Chamosaurus over here it's almost too quiet why are you so quiet for oh whoa 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 is it censored oh I'm dead Did he just move? Oh, yeah, he's dancing. Bit of Donald dancing over here. That's it. Hello, my friend. How are you? Whoa. <laughs> that is so cool. I love it. Look, if I was a kid, I'd probably... And then here we have the King T-Rex. Yes, that's right. T-Rex. Look how gigantic he is. In all his glory. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, I just want to highlight this here, his tiny arms. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, wow, that's, I mean, is he here? I mean, it, he does have tiny arms, that's true. But, you know, it's not too bad. Like, he can still do something with them. But I suppose it's mostly his feet and his teeth that does the talking. I am working on a story about his arms and the whole dinosaur thing, so it's a really cool picture book idea, so I might conjure that up soon, but yeah, love this guy here, the king. This is the cast of the upper jaw of a T-Rex. Wow. That would have come from a skull that was almost 2.5 meters long, so look at that. Oh, hello my friend, how are you today? I mean, this is this a museum or is this a horror show? Who knows? <laughs> I just love it. The animatronics here are pretty cool. Like, 
Yeah, they're, they're very nice. I, I respect that. They, now, of course, over the last couple of decades, they have tried to sort of reimagine what the dinosaur could have been like. We all know that they are kind of got a lot of bird elements in them in there. So, yeah, this could be what dinosaurs kind of looked like towards the end times of the dinosaurs. Look at him shake his uh, tail feather there. Shake your tail feather. I mean, ho ho, this is what I, look, if I was a kid and you told me that dinosaurs look, look, look like giant chickens like this, I would be like, yeah, get out of here. But it, it might have been true. I mean, that's that's what they, that's what they re, um, reimagined it to be like, you know, judging from all the fossils they found. And we all know the, uh, the similarities behind dinosaurs and birds. It's, it's uncanny. So it could be the case. Dino or bird, who knows, who knows. Ho ho, look at this guy. Is this for real, a velociraptor? Did a raptor really look like this? Can you imagine these guys in Jurassic Park instead of the green ones? I mean, this guy, like, he looks pretty cool. I mean, honestly, just throw on a pair of uh, Sakai Blazer Lows in blacks and he's, uh, he's ready to rock. I know it's almost closing time, but I'm making, I'm making the most of it, so. Chew, my friend. These tusks are amazing, look at that. Very, very long. And here we have the last skeleton inside the dinosaur museum. The Manstodon, yes, that's right. This guy's from the Ice Age display. So this is kind of like a bonus display that's sort of tucked away near the uh, souvenir shop. Our final stop here is going to be walking through the dinosaur garden, so uh, Go in and have a check it out. Oh, oh, oh. this is pretty cool. This is, <laughs> I think the kids would love this here. So we just walk around here and I experience these lovely friends. All right, so let's start our little walk here of the dinosaur garden. Oh no, poor guy, <laughs> poor thing. Oh no. I love these little nods to like Jurassic Park there with the golf buggies. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <sighs> it's a very nice place to relax. This is the kids zone where the kids can just, you know, lay on a dinosaur if they want to, touch a dinosaur if they want. Oh, look, hello, it's Fat the Wombat, hello. This does look like a scene from Escape from the Dinosaurs, doesn't it? Look at that. Definitely influenced by Jurassic Park there. Ah, Stegosaurus looking like a boss. Yes, that's right. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool, actually. This is probably a nice way to spend an afternoon, especially if you've got like young dino fans who are quite keen as well. But yeah, perfect for dinosaur fans. And I love the fact that it actually mentions dinosaurs from Australia too. So represents them as well. Wow, this guy looks pretty cool. Wow, hello! <laughs> That's pretty cool. This is a uh, raptor lane, I think. Look at that. Do you dare walk down raptor lane? I think I will. I actually saw rabbits just literally scooting past here. That must be Peter Rabbit, I think. I am. Um, well, that's it for me, Chewy Gum Gums. Had a lovely time here at the National Dinosaur Museum. If you are down in Canberra, do check it out. It's in Gold Creek, very easy to find. Not too far from the Canberra City Centre as well. Perfect for dinosaur fans, families, anyone who loves dinosaurs, come check it out. That's it for me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you care. And I'll catch you, Chewy Gum Gums, in the next video. I'm Olo P. That's Rex. Eat my hand. Peace out.